Hey guys, welcome to Mad Scientist Barbecue. I'm Jeremy Yoder, and behind me, in the ground, is a whole lamb that I'm cooking in a traditional barbacoa style. Now because this lamb had to cook overnight, we had to begin the process last night, and of course, it was dark. So with barbecue, there are a lot of ways you can cook food. One of the most ancient ways is to build a fire, let it burn down to coals, put a whole carcass inside, cover up that hole, and allow it to cook all the way through. That's what we're gonna do with this lamb tonight. And uh, the reason we're starting it tonight is because it's gonna take a long time and we're gonna eat it tomorrow. So we're gonna let it be buried overnight. I'm gonna leave a probe in here to check the internal temperature. And it should be delicious, should be fall apart tender, and it should have lots of flavor with a little bit of smoke that's gonna seep in and the spice rub that we're gonna use. So the basic process of how this works is you dig a pit, you put rocks in the bottom of the pit, you build a fire over it, it burns down to coals and heats those rocks and builds up a lot of heat energy there. And then you cover the hole to seal in all of that heat or as much as you can and use that residual heat to cook this piece of meat. So we did the best that we could in terms of lighting, but let me give you a rundown of what we did and then we'll insert that footage here. And hopefully it's good enough for you guys to get a good sense of what was going on. So first, I got the lamb out of the packaging. Next, I sprayed the exterior surface with olive oil to get a good coating so the rub that I put on it would stick. You can do this with either a brush that you dip into a bowl of olive oil. I think this is the easiest way. Then I use salt and pepper, and then I followed it with a dry rub that I made. All right next, our spice mix. And so we're gonna use this on the outside and the inside. At that point, we put it in the fire pit. And the fire pit is essentially a pit that's deep enough so that a layer of rocks can go in, then a big layer of coals, and then the lamb itself. And the construction of the pit, because um, this ground is pretty hard, was actually pretty tough, got some blisters. And then on top of the rocks that you have in the pit, you build a fire. And the bigger the fire, the more coals you'll get. And so when that fire burns down to coals, you spread them out, you put in your meat, and you cover it. Uh, some people use wet burlap and things like that. I used a big metal plate that um, I knew wouldn't collapse and there wouldn't be any problems with it. At that point, I covered the whole thing in dirt to kind of lock in all of that heat, the heat being absorbed by the rocks, and there's still heat in those coals as well. So you let that do the cooking overnight. Now the lens in, we cover it up with a steel plate. Now that it's cooked all night and we got some hungry people, it is time to dig this thing up and pull it out and take a look at what we've got. Boom, success. All right. We got this thing out of the ground and uh, as near as I can tell, apart from like one little paw over here, no dirt on any of it. So that is a big success for me. And I gotta try this thing. So. I don't think it's going to have a smoky flavor. I don't really know what it's going to be like. I do know that I like lamb, and so I'm excited to try this. Should be nice and tender. Yeah, it's tender. Oh. 
Not really smoky, mm. but the most tender lamb you've ever had. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna try another part. It has a little bit more of the seasoning on it. Here we go, I got a part that had some good seasoning on it. You might get a faint whiff of smoke on here. Maybe it's a very mild smoke flavor, but let's try it out. That's delicious. So I'm really impressed with this. Um, it is actually really good. Very, very happy about it. And it takes almost zero skill to do, which is the best part. And I don't mean to denigrate people who do this kind of cooking a lot, but you know, you dig the hole, you just follow the process and it's gonna be awesome. You don't really have to worry about monitoring the temperature of the fire or a bunch of things that are involved. You dig a hole in the ground, you fill it with rocks, you build a fire on top of it, you let it burn down to coals, you put your meat in, you cover it up, you walk away and you come back the next day, well, if you do it overnight, and you have delicious tender meat. Um, this is really, really awesome stuff. And if you've never tried this, definitely try it. 100% worthwhile. You don't have to buy any new equipment. All you have to do is dig a hole. And if you can do that, you can do this kind of cooking and it's 100% worth your while. You can do it with you know, a, a suckling pig, you can do it with a lamb, you can do it with a goat, you can do it with all kinds of different stuff but it is really a cool way to cook meat. So at this point, we're gonna take it over to the neighbors and we're gonna eat it with some sides and make the most we possibly can out of this meal. If you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching it. You can subscribe down below and hit the like button. And if you really wanna be updated every time I put out a new video, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new content that I put out. I'll see you guys next time. You're a saint, Jeff. But this allows me to do this. Infinitely better. Okay? So, one is better than none. Kaboom. All right.